one of the Piedmont's favorite old time stores and some of Roy's folks are giving it a new beginning while honoring its old roots. We're paying a visit to Madison Dry Goods. You know, everyone that comes in here, they talk about how much of a treasure it is. And the more you come here, the more you realize how rare this opportunity is to have something like this still around. When Michael Smith, better known as Smitty, was just a little boy. Right, because it was a hardware store on that side, so at one time... Richard and Karen the Miller were it's opening nice Madison Dry Goods. Came into Madison one day, and this building was empty, and I put my face up the window and looked through, and... 28 years later, here we are. They like the outdoor clothing. The Millers created this. This is a new line we just started. A destination location that reminded folks of stepping back in time when life was simpler. I just like the, the hometown feeling, and, and Madison really welcomed me there. People are friendly here, and everybody that comes through our door are our family. But to everything, there is a season. When people come in and knew we were retiring in these last week, and start crying. But they knew. Of course, that makes us cry. The right person to keep it going. Hey, welcome. Yeah, I visited a few times while growing up. Um, I had a friend that lived right down the street, and we'd actually walk down here to see the store. Smitty's love of the store and its history made him the perfect old soul. You know, and that's what I tried to replicate in those first two shells. And Smitty is like an old soul. Um, so he's very much like Richard, but he's also very OCD like I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is the old hotel room. Smitty doesn't plan to change anything, only add to it. The building hotel room has been a hardware store, hotel, and even a funeral home, which prepared the bodies of the infamous Charlie Lawson family murders of 1929. You'll be able to walk through in the same places that the Lawson's bodies once laid which landed the store on Netflix. This room will be dedicated to everything that happened afterwards. Smitty plans to expand the museum dedicated to the family and tragedy. He also is adding a community room for meetings and live music, and rightfully named after the Millers. Just as Richard and Kathy have been so involved in the community, um, this space honors that. You are the best. You are the owners here may best. change, but the love of this place its history and customers will always stay the same. That's taught us a lot over the years that be true to yourself and to your customers and just in Madison, in your community itself, and it'll come back to you. Looking for Roy's folks. Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News. Such a great place. The new Lawson Family Murder Museum will open for the first time Sunday, March the 12th. To reserve tickets, visit Madison Dry Goods and Dry Goods Country Store on Facebook.